Hello, Daily Blue viewers. How are you this morning? I'm your host, Chris Musto, of this segment of The Daily Blue. And with me today is Susan Russo, Executive Director of the Teresa Foundation, Anna Marie Bondi Stoddard of the law firm of Pagalis and Erickson, uh, and Laura Sikorsky, our media coordinator from 100 Women Who Care About Long Island, which is a mouthful, but a great cause. And uh, absolutely amazing to have you women here today uh, talking about all the great things you're working on doing here for Long Island and all the great things you have done already for Long Island. Um, so quickly, uh, Anna Marie, why, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, Pagalis and Erickson and how it got involved with the Therese, uh, with um, both the Teresa Foundation and 100 Women Who Care, who, by the way, was given a great gift uh, to the Ther Teresa Foundation at your request. Um, Absolutely. Um, we're a law firm based in uh, Lake Success, uh, Long Island, Nassau County, and we represent many children with special needs. Uh, their injuries are due to medical negligence and what we do is we try and find organizations on Long Island that cater to the needs of children with special needs. It's amazing how children don't get the services that they need because money is so tight, especially in the public school districts. So one of the things that we looked at, and I know Vincent Russo, which is um, Susan's husband, he's an attorney practicing also in Nassau in Suffolk, and um, I met him many years ago and learned about his daughter and the foundation, and um, we've been a supporter ever since. So last year, I was invited to the inaugural meeting of 100 Women Who Care on Long Island, and the first thing came to my mind is I had to nominate the Teresa Foundation, and specifically the Teresa Academy of Performing Arts. Um, we had our first meeting in July 2013. There was about 38 or so people in the room. And it was the first meeting, so I really didn't know what to expect. And what we did is you write down the, the name of your organization, which has already been vetted by the board for 100 women, and you put it in a fishbowl, and they pick out three names. So I was the first person that they that they they picked the name for Teresa Foundation. So it was like, oh my the gosh! Official fishbowl selection <laughs> yeah. process for a hundred women who yeah, care it was about. Like, oh my God! I have to talk about the Teresa Foundation and convince <laughs> these wonderful women that they should vote for the Teresa Foundation, and wonderful. that's exactly what I did. Wow. Um, so would you say you were the first woman who cared about Long Island? Right <laughs> or is that really? No, uh... no, no. There's many before me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Laura, I guess uh, you know, tell me a little bit about a hundred women who care. Um, who can join? Uh, do you have all 100 members yet? There's so much I want to learn. Absolutely. Thank uh, you, Chris. No? Um, 100 Women is a grassroots organization, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, in the United States there are 125 chapters so far. And uh, we don't operate with a budget or a credit card or a bank account. We rely on our steering committee to support us, but mostly on our sponsors. Mm -hmm. And they help us out in terms of what we need. But uh, the, the purpose of the organization is women wanted to do something, but they knew that they didn't have enough time to devote to be on committees or go into mm -hmm. fundraising events and so forth. So this chapter started in the Midwest, and it was just a group of 100 women who wanted to get together and show their support with a hundred dollars. Normally when you donate a hundred dollars to an organization you're not real sure where that money goes. Mm -hmm. But one of the precepts of a hundred women is that the charity has to guarantee that the money is spent in Nassau and Suffolk County only. It does not go for administrative expenses and that it goes to a gift or a program that is going to benefit that particular charity. So all of your donations have a 100% program service percentage. Absolutely, based on, 100% wow, goes. Wow, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. And Susan, uh, you know, what kind of impact did this, you know, gift have on your organization? This was an amazing, amazing gift for us. We had um, been working on our Saturday respite program, which is one of the programs that we think is very, very valuable and very necessary for our families, not mm -hmm. just the child who attends on Saturdays, but for the parents, because a rested parent is a more effective parent. So we have a three-hour time period on Saturdays for um, children with special needs, and we run it like basically like we run our camp. They have an art activity, a dance activity, a snack, um, games, yoga, drama, different depending on the Saturday. But um, a lot of our parents are single families, single parent families, and um, the cost is $40 per Saturday, but 
they can't afford that. Wow. This was amazing. We were able to, to support 10 families um, who were able to send their children to respite for the entire semester. Wow. So it was, wow, it was a blessing. It really was. And, and the families are so grateful. And it's wonderful to see the children grow over a semester. Sure. You know, how much they change and grow. And it's so much fun. You can't have a bad day. Right. <laughs> we have fun we every Saturday. Kids? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Some know, of our blue chippers would agree that working with me is kind of like working with a child, <laughs> so uh, they can attest to that. Yeah. Um, but Laura, how does, uh, how does someone join? What is some information about uh, any interest of women looking to get on board here? Sure. We have a website. Mm -hmm. It is uh, one zero zero zero. I'm going to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100wwcli.org. Mm -hmm. okay. And there is membership information uh, on how to join. It's a simple agreement that you guarantee that you will support whatever charity mm -hmm. was nominated and voted on at the quarterly meetings that you will write your check. And if you should not be able to attend that meeting, then you are still obligated to donate the monies to the charity. Uh, there's information on how to nominate a charity. Mm -hmm. There is also information, a little PR, mm -hmm. about where we've been in the newspapers and on TV and so forth, and certainly the recent interview that Corinne did with Tracy Lovedell. Sure. Sure. So that's on the Daily Blue. And oh. uh, mm -hmm. so we have to spread the word, and we really do appreciate uh, Blue Chip Marketing and the Daily Blue to help us do that. We didn't pay her for that plug, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and we appreciate all the work. We love featuring uh, organizations that are really doing their part to get off the ground and really help and make a change, make a social impact. And it sounds like 100 Women Who Care are doing really, really great yeah. things. And so far, uh, since our first meeting, we've donated over $35,000 wow. to different mm -hmm. charities on Long Island. Wow. Uh, some of the the first charity, of course, was the Teresa Academy for the Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. Then we had the Hospice Care Hospice. Network. Right. Then was Palomine Equestrian. Mm -hmm. I know Palomine. Then Angela's House, One and of our the uh, most recent donation was for Little Shelter. Oh, very nice. So we're actually going to be presenting them with many of the checks next week. Very very so. nice. Well, great. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us, thank Teresa, you. Anna Marie, Laura, um, Pagalis and Erickson's generosity in uh, helping hook this up, the Teresa Foundation, thank for you. all the great work they're doing, and 100 Women Who Care. You heard it here, 100wwcli.org. You can find all the information <laughs> you need there. Um, and ladies, thank you so much for joining us. We hope to have you back soon with a lot more social impact you guys are making. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you so much for joining us, all the Daily Blue viewers. And of course, you thank can you. find us right here at www.thedailyblue.com. Thanks for just stopping by. <laughs>